In this Linux tutorial, I go over how to use the super user command sudo properly. So a couple things I want to touch on before I show you sudo or how to change sudo to have no password. Um, some people go ahead when they first get into Linux and they go sudo su, which changes them to the root user. And then they just go ahead and install everything as root. Um, this is bad on so many levels, mainly because let's go ahead and say you run your app kit or DNF install, whatever, whatever your package manager is, and you install a bunch of programs. And then you go to your start menu. Well, guess what? Those programs aren't going to be there because you installed them as root and you don't run as root. And <laughs> this is a huge problem also because when you install those programs and you're logged in or, or switched user SU to root, everything that was created there was created with root as the only owner, which is also a big thing. Some programs, you know, they like it to go and be installed by the actual user logged in. So the, their directories can be owned by that user. So a good good example of this is doing sudo app git or sudo dnf install and then the command or the program you're looking to do. And you'll see if you go back through of where it was installed or if it installed directories in, in your user directory, you'll see that the owner is you. But let's say you go sudo su and then go into your home directory and say mkdir make a directory as just junk. Look at the owner it'll say root and then try and open up that directory you just created and you'll notice that it is owned by root and you don't have access or privilege to it. So sudo su should only be used in very, very um, specialized circumstances. Don't run as root. There's a reason why there's a t-shirt that says, I always run as root. It's basically just making fun of the idiots that first jump in and you know, get in and that, idiots is a strong word Pro probably just say noobs uh to linux i don't want to be one of those pretentious linux guys that's like ah no no just just to know you know a lot of people do it i know i did it when i first started using linux uh it's just a bad habit don't get in the use of it and uh, let's go ahead and go into this tutorial of how to use sudo without having to be prompted for a password every single time uh, this is really important because when you're using sudo you want to be able to just go sudo app get and then install, especially if you're using it in a desktop environment. Server world, I completely understand not doing this, um, but if you're running in Fedora or Ubuntu or another distro, you don't want to be typing in that root password every single time you open up terminal and go to install a program. Because a lot of times I'm opening up, you know, five, six terminals and I'm going and flipping back and forth and I'm like, ah, crap, I, I didn't do it on this one or I have it on this one. And it's always prompting for the root password. Okay, to start out, we need to open up our terminal. And from here, we need to edit a file called suitors and it's in the etc folder. So let's go ahead and type sudo nano which is the editor i'm using you can also use v or vim whatever you're comfortable with forward slash etc sudo errs and from here this pulls in this file so as we can see um this is kind of how sudo is kind of gets its authentication or permissions from i've already actually added my user here and this is what you do so let's say your user one you would just type user one all equals parentheses all that space no password colon space all. And basically what this does is it makes it so when user one types in a command sudo and then DNF install or whatever it is for super user, it allows user one to run that sudo command without being prompted for a password. This makes it so much easier working in terminal, installing a bunch of stuff, and just basically just putting that sudo command without ever constantly re-entering your password. Because the logic here is when you've logged in in a desktop environment, um, I don't like re-entering it 
it's obviously a less secure way of doing a system. If it was an enterprise system or in a data center and I was working on the system, I would never use this. However, when it comes to workstation, I'm always installing, uninstalling and in need that elevation. And I want to do it quickly and efficiently. That's why I use this command and I hope you guys enjoy it and it, it will save you a ton of time. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any feedback or comments, please let me know below. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.